I have some quick holiday advice for all the runners out there. Hi everyone, Steve Gonzer, physical therapist with Run Smart Online. Um, so it's that time of the year, right? I'm feeling this early December. We're all kind of going towards the holidays and I want to just caution everyone real quick because I'm seeing this happen quite a bit. My phone's really dark. Um, but uh, I'm seeing this happen quite a bit and I see it every single year, so I figured I'd go live and um, talk to you about what you should be thinking about, what you should be looking at through the holidays because it's, it can be tough to fit some runs in right now, right? We're going to be stressed. Not only do we have to deal with the stress of a global pandemic, but we have the holidays coming. So what I wanted to do is just talk to you guys about a couple things that can help you get through the holidays and make sure that you're ready to go on January 1. We're actually working on a new program that will start a new challenge. It'll start on January 1st. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, for the official announcement, uh, we're working through some of the details. Uh, we're really excited about it. But um, so here's what I normally see is people, they lose track of the running, they lose their consistency, and then like they put a flag on the ground on Jan January 1, and they start training again, they get serious again, they get their shit together, whatever, however you want to say it. And um, it usually leads to a little bit of overtraining and come, I see it usually probably like early February to mid February, a lot of runners are getting hurt. Um, so what I, here's my advice for you, especially even as things get really busy right now and it is the season to be jolly, but it's also to be consistent. Um, what I would really tell you guys is that you should, even on the most difficult days, if you're scheduled for a run, even 15, 20 minutes can be a huge boost to you because when you're a runner, your body craves it. You never you remember if you've ever, maybe you just started running or, or you've been running for a long time when you first get started. Your body really doesn't like it that much and then as you do it consistently you get used to it it starts to feel more comfortable you get less sore and that's just your body acclimating to running but through the holidays a lot of people decondition not only their fitness but their body's ability to tolerate a lot of impact in their running so uh, i really want to caution you guys about shutting it down or just skipping runs because you're busy and just focus on getting at least three times a week getting some impact through your joints and through your muscles and through your tendons. And what this will do is it'll set you up for success once that new year rolls over and you start getting more serious about your training, you start planning for half marathons, full marathons that are gonna happen hopefully next year. Um, we use some different things. We use more of a maintenance approach right at this point in time where you're gonna do a lot of easy and base pace running. You shouldn't be going out the door and doing hard workouts. You should just be looking for your consistency. I recommend is a low number, about three miles, three times a week. Even if like, I, I even tell my 50, 60 mile a week people, my 50, 60 mile a week runners, like just get a couple miles in. Don't shut it down on the holidays because it's very difficult, especially as you get older, to get the body used to running again. There's almost this natural inclination or, or there's this um, increased risk associated when you shut it down. So we want to avoid that. We want to make sure we're doing some stuff. And then if you can fit some strength in, that's even better, but at the very least, make sure you're hitting your runs. Um, if you're a runner who wants to really get started in the new year and be ready, set, go, get rid of Corona and get started, be on the lookout for our upcoming challenge. It's gonna be part of the Run Smart app, which I linked to in this post. Um, we're gonna announce it here shortly, uh, six week training with me, uh, including some live workouts. We're, we're working out the details. We'll see how it goes, but um, just stay consistent right now, people. We only have a month left, and uh, then the new year rolls over, and 2021 is going to be great. And if you want some help with your running, be sure to check out the Run Smart app. I've linked to it, but stay consistent. A um, couple questions. I'm trying. It's two in the morning. Oh, <laughs> Paul, sorry. It's not two in the morning here. I can tell you that much. Um, I'm trying to do a half marathon in under three hours. Can this help? So it depends. Like, so like that's the big thing. Like goal setting right now, right? A lot of runners are going to be setting goals for the next year. Um, the goals that you set should not be like throwing darts, like blindfolded throwing darts. They should look at previous performances and, and things. There's a lot of cool tools you can do to look at um, that can actually help you predict your pacing. But that's a great, great question. Um, that we just got like can I break three I don't know I it, until you look at like previous performances and things um, I'll talk about that tomorrow actually like how do you set a right goal for next year uh, but the important thing right now this video is for consistency so make sure you're staying consistent um, and uh, I'll talk about setting some goals maybe tomorrow so I'll talk to you guys soon have a great night I'm actually tis the season I'm gonna go get some wine I'll talk to you guys later bye oh missed it